Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh Sharma. Hope you are doing well. Uh, so over the weekend, what we are going today? So today will be understanding the another important session on to the Grafana alloy uh, logging, which is in Kubernetes. So what we have done so far, quickly a quick recap in the same playlist. First of all, we understood how to install Grafana alloy. And ship matrices from Ubuntu box, and then we understood how to install Grafana alloy and send matrices from uh, a Kubernetes cluster to a local Grafana or to Grafana cloud, whichever is is you know uh, okay for you. And then uh, we uh, third session was uh, to send logs from a Ubuntu or a VM, an on-prem VM to Grafana cloud or local Grafana. Now, why we are doing all this Grafana alloy thing? So, Grafana alloy is a new agent, which is a you know a replacement of Grafana agent, uh, which is open telemetry based collector. And uh, Grafana agent is, is already deprecated, and it it will uh, stop supporting. It will be stop supporting by Grafana in the near future. I think by early 2025, you will not have Grafana agent, you know, on support, and everything is being moved to Grafana alloy. So let's quickly do this topic today and then we'll see more on traces on our next topic. What we'll be doing today, we'll be installing a vanilla Grafana alloy agent on Minikube cluster. I have a single node cluster already spinned up. And then uh, we will configure that Grafana alloy to using Helm to send the cluster, the pod related logs to Grafana cloud. And then finally, we'll see the logs in Grafana cloud. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, before we get started, uh, uh, again, a very, very beautiful desktop. So do not forget to like and subscribe the channel so that you can get uh, you know hundreds of videos related to Grafana, Grafana Zero to Hero, and then Elasticsearch, Kubernetes, AWS Cloud, EKS Cluster, and so on. And Open Telemetry also, very important one. Okay, so I have created a, a GitHub page for your ease. So this GitHub page is, uh, we'll talk about how we uh, do the journey of Grafana. So I already have a Grafana Cloud account also with this name. And let me show you, there's nothing coming in. This is an empty account I just spinned up a few minutes ago. So nothing is coming from past you know, five minutes, okay, 15 minutes. So it is all empty, no data. Now we will uh, ship your uh, data from Kubernetes cluster, the pod logs to this Grafana cloud instance. Okay, let's get started quickly. Now, this is the same page I was talking about. Uh, this is the reference documentation why we are using Grafana alloy and all that stuff. You can go to the reference documentation of Grafana alloy from here also. First of all, we will install mini cube cluster. If you don't have uh, steps or instruction how to install it, you can simply go and install mini cube onto your uh, laptop or Ubuntu machine like this. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. Let's not do that uh, mini cube cluster spin up. Now we'll install uh, Grafana alloy onto this cluster. So I'll add this repository, and uh, this is my uh, mini cube cluster. K get uh, pods, or there's some tin pods that are already running. Helm list, there's no Helm chart that is there on this metric. So uh, on this metric's namespace, I want to metric namespace, okay? Perfect. So let me run this repo. Add is already done. Okay, and let me run this repo update. Uh, this is not needed. I'll install uh, Grafana alloy Helm chart. Okay, this will install Grafana alloy bare minimum. Okay, vanilla. I'm not pass any, you know, um, I would say any configuration. So it has installed the uh, vanilla. Grafana alloy agent. Perfect. Now I've already seen the ports are running KGP. Okay. The Grafana alloy ports are coming up. It will take around 10 seconds or so. Yeah. Both the containers are running perfectly fine. You can see this. Right. Fine. KGP is nothing but cube people get ports. Okay. So this is coming nicely. Now, now this is, now we will configure the uh, Grafana alloy configuration and we will create a config map and we'll pass that config map to our helm chart so that it can read logs 
uh, from this cluster and then read pod log from this cluster and then send it to Grafana Cloud. So this is that config file. So we are, uh, you know, config file for alloy actually. Now we are just uh, getting the pod. We are uh, creating a namespace. This is the reserved keyword, which is, uh, you know, fetched from Kubernetes API discovery labels. You can see everything is coming inside this bucket. This is the first rule. I'm searching this label and renaming that label to namespace. I'm searching this label and renaming it to pod. So this is something similar to Grafana agent if you remember and then again i'm searching this container name and replacing it with container okay and then searching the pod label io name and giving a, a pod name here uh, the target label is app and then concatenating uh, the job job is nothing but your uh, i would say namespace and then slash and then the container name see namespace slash then contain that is the job name and that is another you know column and then uh, there's another column which is nothing but this it will give you the uh, path for that log and then finally uh, we have a container id also and then it will uh, send all these things these are the targets i mean it will just read it from here and then forward it to the locky process pod log locky process nothing but this one see and then pod logs pod logs i'm adding another column static labels called as cluster which is bupesh mini cube and forwarding it to the locky.write grafana cloud receiver so this is of locky.write grafana cloud i'm giving this url i am giving, giving this basic auth and password if you know you want to understand how to fetch this thing this url and uh, basic auth you can go back to my another video into the same playlist how to send logs to grafana cloud i'll post the url into the description section so this is the configuration that I need to pass into my Helm chart. How I can do it? Pretty simple. I can simply first of all create a config map. See, I'm doing kubectl create config map in the namespace matrix with this name of config map. Take config map file is this, which is this one, and then name it like this. Okay. This is the key value pair. So I'll just copy this. I'm already into that location. Hope so. Yes, I'll just run this. It will create a config map k get config map and then i'll do a config map alloy so you might have seen two config maps so this one was created by vanilla helm chart and this is we just now created it now we will upgrade our helm chart okay just hear me out we will upgrade the existing helm chart with this values okay now what is this grafana alloy k test pod values so this is nothing but Oh, this way so i'm saying please use the config map the with configuration which i am passing this alloy dot config not i'm i'm saying uh, please do not create the config map by default okay by default create is false it's not true and use the config map which i am creating and read the configurations uh with this key value pair okay so you see this is all the key value pair so when i give this then it will read all this information and then this will pass to the config map to this alloy. Perfect. I hope this is clear now. So I'll just come on to this. I'll upgrade my Helm chart. Copy. Paste. Okay. This see revision has been changed to two. Okay. This second version. Now I'll do a KGP cubes it'll get parts. So it is taking some time, seven seconds. Okay. And let me see K get config map. You see that older config map has you know you know deleted because we have upgraded our helm chart. So helm is a beautiful way to upgrade any an application. It has deleted, which is not used used now. Okay. So let me do a KGP again. It is running. Uh, clear screen k logs let me do kgp first okay k logs pod and then i'm just doing a uh, checking the pod logs is there any kind of error eight x okay there's no significant error so i think logs should be going the pod logs should be going to the grafana cloud instance which have which i've already given my config map now what is the next step simple validate the logs pod logs which are going to grafana 
using you know uh, so this is my grafana cloud instance i'll just do a quick refresh on this page okay and then for last 15 minutes i'll just search this label okay see the label labels are coming nicely i'll search this cluster cluster is bupesh mini cube okay and then i'll add uh, namespace which is nothing but matrices and then i'll add pod how many pod i can i can see other pods see logs also suppose i selected busy box okay and then i hit refresh then i'll see the busy boss busy box logs let me search the uh, the alloy the grafana alloy pod logs so i can get all the logs and what i have selected this is important to know i have selected the locky data source okay this is my grafana cloud locky data source and uh, this is how i can see all the logs now uh, and i can just add one more filter suppose uh, container maybe okay so what container we have alloy container so we can get all the data right like this now this is another this another way to you know see this i can do it like this also you know using this so simply delete everything i can do cluster mini cube and then i can comma and then suppose i want uh, namespace cube system suppose pod i want to see some other pod and then i can run it right and there's no data right let me filter out uh take some more ah, i can see some data for this namespace for this pod so i think i think this is this is pretty evident how to check log and this is also if you can imagine clearly how my columns have been you know beautifully come here using grafana alloy so first column is the app which i have already given it into my configuration like this okay app is nothing but this we have a pod we have a namespace everything is coming like this we have a job we have instance and then we can uh, create columns the way we, have, we were creating in grafana agent the only you know benefit with grafana alloy is i can pass otl collector related configurations of traces or something else maybe in our next session and then we'll showcase how we can ship the hotel collector uh, data so that is pretty much let's see if you really want to do any kind of kubernetes yes log dashboard in grafana let me see is there any ready-made dashboard for this okay logs related dashboard i really doubt let me just quickly give one more 10 more seconds data sources data source is my locky come on okay my system is hang okay anyway so let's let's cut short this i mean my main intention was to how to collect uh logs using grafana alloy using helm chart and these are the very basic bare minimum steps everything is pretty much straightforward there's no rocket science understand how to you can ship your all logs to your local locky instance also it is not mandated to ship all your logs to uh you know grafana since i was having grafana cloud account as i've done it so just to cut short uh you know uh, what we have done so far a quick recap first of all we installed uh, grafana alloy vanilla version okay and then we configure that vanilla version to get the configuration or the config map uh, so that the pod logs should go to my grafana cloud instance reinstall the um, uh, grafana alloy using helm chart and then we went to grafana cloud we uh, selected the uh, locky uh, uh, locky data source okay and then we checked the logs and that is pretty much that was all about uh, we did uh, do check out do try it out this is again very new concept you won't find uh, much of a documentation or a youtube videos on this grafana alloy so do check out or do try and if you have any problem any particular use case on grafana alloy please paste down into the comment section i will try to help if i have time I, uh, and then we'll we'll come back with our next session on you know grafana alloy tracing soon stay tuned till then
I would say goodbye and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel and share it with among your colleagues and friends. Okay then, goodbye for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.